Okay, so yesterday we had some pretty crazy announcements. We're actually getting Classic Plus, and in this video I'm going to do a quick show off of everything that we're going to be getting in Classic Plus or Classic Season of Discovery for anyone who missed it or anyone who just wants a quick recap. Um, and then after this video I'm going to be putting out a series going over all the level 25 ruins for every single class. So if that's something that you would enjoy, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so I'm going to pull up each panel one by one as fast as possible and we're going to go through them and see what you guys think. So, first up we have panel one. Let's full screen this. Uh, these are just snapshots that I took from actual BlizzCon, so it's going to be a little bit tiny, but either way, we could still read it. Uh, so, discoveries. What are discoveries? Discoveries are new hidden secrets within Azeroth. Uh, the inspiration is exploration and adventure. They want to kind of keep the social interaction and the info sharing aspect of Vanilla WoW like when it was first released and there weren't a million guides on YouTube and people had to actually go out and look for these things. Um, that's what this is going to be like as well. Uh, they also are not doing a public beta or PTR and this is huge guys because without doing a public beta or PTR, what I just said is going to remain true for Season of Discovery, at least for the beginning. Like, this isn't going to launch on November 30th with a million guides on YouTube, exactly where to find all your ruins and your new abilities. Um, it's going to be a very cool, unique experience. You're going to be able to hop in with probably thousands and thousands of people and go look for these things as you level up uh, throughout your whole journey to the new level cap of 25 temporarily. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, new additions that feel at home in original. Wow. And I think they nailed this, but we'll get to that in later slides. So let's move on to panel number two, level banded content phases. And what does this mean? What does level banded content phases mean? Inspired by WoW classic beta, approachable, never too late to start. Uh, so basically what this is going to be, guys, is the game is going to release on November 30th with a level cap of 25, right? Uh, so what this means is that people can't finish the game in the first month and then you feel like it's too late to start or you feel super behind. They're going to cap the level at 25, which is awesome, and then expand that cap as time goes on. Uh, in the actual BlizzCon um, PowerPoint itself, they said that it would be a few weeks, uh, so maybe three weeks, a month, maybe a little over a month, we're not sure, uh, but then they're going to expand that level cap maybe to like 30 or 35, and apparently there's going to be new end game gameplay at each level cap, uh, which is really awesome. It's going to make this take a long time, it's going to make this stick around, people aren't going to figure the entire game out right off the bat, which really is just like an awesome thing uh so we're really pumped for that so let's pull up panel number three and see what's next okay so panel number three they talk a little bit about gameplay at the end game what is end game at level 25 yes level 25 is going to be your end game for the first month if not a little bit more of season of discovery uh the inspiration uh, familiar settings and characters and new mechanics the goal is full redesigns these are real raids and stand on their own so they didn't just you know, crank up the health in Black Fathom Deeps, which is the first raid. Um, it's a 10 player raid, by the way. So super accessible for you and your friends. If you have a group of six or seven friends or even 10 friends, uh, it's going to be real easy to dive into these raids at level 25 and just having a good time. Uh, there's going to be new loot, new world PVP events. Now they talked about this a little bit, so I'll give you guys a brief explanation of what they mean by this. So apparently Ashen Vale is going to be a world PVP zone. Uh, you know, you can world PvP everywhere, just like original vanilla, but the difference is there's going to be an actual event that starts as you accumulate world PvP kills in Ashenvale. Um, it'll spawn a leader for the Horde, it'll spawn a leader for the Alliance, and basically turns Ashenvale into an open world Alterac Valley, where you have to kill the opposing faction's leader, which is really cool, and they said it's a great way to earn honor, and you all know that PvP gear at level 25 is actually really strong, so that's going to be something that a lot of players are doing, and it's going to be so much fun to jump into that world PvP, uh, and I cannot wait for it, to be honest. Uh, potential for new experiences at higher levels. So basically what they're saying is they're keeping everything open, right? This isn't completely finished. So 
this is Classic Plus. They're going to be adding things as we go along. Maybe this will go on for two or three years. We have no idea. They didn't give us a time frame, uh, which I think is actually great. So let's move on to the next panel where we talk about rune engraving. Okay, so panel number four, rune engraving. Uh, these are basically your new abilities. Every class gets a ton of new abilities in Season of Discovery. Uh, you know, when we talked about Classic Plus before, we thought it was only going to be like Shadow Priests, Boomkins, Red Paladins, you know, maybe amp them up a little bit, make them viable. But no, they gave every single class in the game so many new abilities. Uh, so new skill line for all characters. Apply new abilities to equipment, swap at any time. So basically these abilities act as like a an enchant, uh, a permanent enchant that you can keep re-enchanting without mats once you find the ruin, right? So you're going to be able to, at level 25, enchant your chest, legs, and heads with different abilities. Uh, so once you find these abilities out in the world, um, you're going to be able to constantly keep reapplying that. So let's say you replace your chest, you're not going to lose the ability that was tied to your chest. You're going to be able to re-enchant that right away with rune engraving. Uh, additional rune slots unlock over time, so that tells us that there are many, many more runes that we are going to unlock as the level cap increases, which is awesome. Um, and it exists outside of the talent system, so you can build your talent, and then on top of that, apply your ruins so let's say you're maybe a holy priest and you're having a little bit of trouble soloing out in the world you can enchant some of your gear with some offensive abilities and help you do a little bit more dps uh, and be kind of like a, a healer main but a little bit of a hybrid so you could dps as well and solo a little bit easier which is awesome i love that uh so let's jump into the next panel i'm trying to keep this as short and sweet for you guys as possible let's keep it moving so here's some examples of those ruins. They showed us three for each class, but there are many, many more as we saw in the BlizzCon PTR when people were playing. And like I said, I have a video coming out specific to each and every class with all their runes that they have unlocked by level 25. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because those videos are going to be coming out over the next two weeks. Uh, so right here, I pulled up the Paladin one. You can see we have Crusader Strike, an instant strike that causes 75% weapon damage and regenerates 2% of your maximum mana. Hand of Reckoning, so Paladins now have a Taunt and are viable tanks in vanilla, and Seal of Martyrdom, uh, which is just another DPS seal. So this is like huge, because this, this really is Classic Plus, it's changing the game uh, on a fundamental level, which is exactly what we were all hoping for, and I love it. I, I took another screenshot of um, another set of ruins, maybe for the Warlock, I think, so let's pull that up real quick. Okay, so here I pulled up the Warlock's ruins that they showed in the PowerPoint. Uh, we have Haunt. Uh, which you all know probably from Wrath of the Lich King, unleash a ghostly soul on the enemy dealing 108 to 127 damage and increases all shadow damage over time you deal to that target by 20%. When haunt ends or is dispelled, you'll be healed for all the damage dealt to your target. Huge Chaos Bolt sends a bolt of chaotic fire at the enemy dealing 225 to 286 fire damage. Chaos Bolt always hits, cannot be resisted, and its knowledge causes all your fire spells to pierce through absorption effects. And then Metamorphosis, uh, which is a little bit different than Wrath, uh, basically turns you into a warlock tank and from watching the PTR of people playing it is not a uh, cooldown it's actually a shapeshift like a druid's bear form think of it that way uh, so you can permanently sit in metamorphosis and what it does is your shadow bolt becomes a shadow cleave a shadow melee attack that hits up to three nearby enemies but has a six second cooldown um, you generate a hundred percent more threat uh, it reduces your chance to be critically hit, increases your armor contribution from items by 500%. Uh, Curse of Recklessness turns into a taunt. You gain a charge. You gain a uh, Demonic Howl, which is an AoE taunt. Uh, so Warlocks can also now be tanks, which is really cool. And this is the next panel I wanted to go over with you guys, the level up raids, as we were talking about a little bit earlier. So level 25, we're going to have Black Fathom Deeps as a 10 player raid. Excuse me, my dog is shaking around under my desk and I hear his collar. So if you can hear it, I apologize, but he's just hanging out. Uh, so yeah, Black Fathom Deeps is going to be a 10 player raid, super accessible for you and your friends, going to be a lot of fun, but apparently it's been fully reimagined with seven boss encounters with totally new mechanics um, and a three day lockout, uh, just like ZG, so it's going to be something you could do every three days, which is pretty awesome, with new and updated rewards, uh, so basically what they're saying there is that the gear has changed, um, there's going to be some really cool items that you're going to be able to get from that, and that's going to be your bis going into the next phase of leveling. Um, and then secrets. They talked about this a little bit as well. Um, apparently there's some kind of uh, 
something you can find or something you can do in Black Fathom Deeps inside the raid uh, that will unlock a new world buff. Yes, we didn't get rid of world buffs in this. We doubled down and added a new world buff, which will probably be massive in those large-scale Ashenvale world PvP fights. And then this is a massive, massive clip right here. Uh, what they did here at the end was they kind of staged this like, oh no, this shouldn't be here. Why are we showing this thing? Um, and I'm not sure if you guys can kind of see what these screenshots are, but this is, was a picture of an Alarmo bot. This behind here was a probably Scarlet raid. And then this right here is the Karazhan crypts or the Karazhan basement. Um, so they're hinting that those things are coming as well. Maybe a Gnome Rigun raid, uh, a Karazhan basement raid or a Scarlet Citadel raid, uh, or maybe all three. Uh, so that's really, really cool. I I'm so excited, and I really want to know what you guys think about all this down in the comments below. I feel like so many of us were shocked because we were kind of huffing uh, the hopium here with this whole thing with Classic Plus, and I really do think Blizzard delivered on this and uh, shocked the hell out of all of us. I was not expecting this much content. They must have been working on this uh, since three months into Season of Mastery uh, because this is a lot of content, and they changed a lot of stuff. And this is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to cover it all right here on the Hammerdance Gaming Channel. Uh, so if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help me out. Share it with your friends. Drop some comments down below. And if you have nothing to say at all, drop an emoji. The engagement helps me as well. Uh, but yeah, subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I stream on twitch.tv slash Hammerdance Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And like I said, we're going to be playing a lot of this. We're going to be covering this pretty hard so uh yeah anyways guys that's all from me thank you so much for watching and listening in i'll see you all in the next one